What it all meant, whether there will ever be lasting peace and security in Afghanistan, are questions that live on. What is certain is that the mission in Afghanistan finally coming to an end is a huge relief to the families of those who served. Mike LeCouture was there for the last of the emotional reunions. Clutching Canadian flags and welcome back signs, families of the last soldiers to serve in Afghanistan anxiously wait. Hearts racing, kind of feeling like, I don't know, nervous, excited. I'm excited enough to have to jump right into space. Debbie and Tim Corley's three sons have served in Afghanistan, with their eldest just minutes away from being safely in their arms. The emotional weight is finally being lifted. When it was uh, really bad, uh, we'd see films and that about the soldiers getting killed, and it bothered me. But we're all done. Two CF 18s ushered the troops on the final stretch home from Afghanistan. Now, inside, the anticipation was too much for some, hoping to catch a glimpse of their loved one. Then, Moments later, as the soldiers came down the steps, pure joy. Most will spend the next couple of weeks catching up with family, or in Brett Price's case, getting to know his daughter, who he hasn't held or hugged for nine months. Words can't describe it. I mean, uh, I, was, I was fortunate enough to have FaceTime over there, so I, I get to see her on the computer every once in a while, but just uh, actually seeing her in, in person is awesome. Now, being the last Canadian troops in Afghanistan was special to these soldiers, and they believe it was worth spending 12 years in the war-torn country. I think we left them in good shape uh, with continued support from the international community. Uh, they've got a better shot at a, at a brighter future. Now, sadly, the Corleys have to say goodbye again as their son heads back to his home base in the Maritimes. And Dad was trying to keep a stiff upper lip. We're going to do some catching up this summer, I hope. Yeah. We'll see what goes on. Hopefully get you out to, the, out to Ontario for a bit. Or, uh, yeah, it's good. I feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa. We'll do fine.